today we are here with a March favorites. Um, it has been quite a while since we've done a favorites video, so we have a lot piled up, but we picked the best of the best to share with you today. So, Gigi, what's up first? My first favorite is a two-part favorite. Um, I've been really into purple nail polish for the spring. This one is a Revlon color, and Pitts got it for me for Christmas. And this shade is Winning Streak, because that's what we're on. Um, it's their Color Stay Gel Envy, and it's a little bit darker than a pastel purple, but I really just like this shade of purple, like this color. I wore that earlier in the month, and then right now I'm wearing this China Glaze color, which is a brighter pastel purple, and it's called That Show Bright, because it is. And I saw this on Nicole Guerrero, and I had a look into her description box to see what she was wearing, and I was like, oh, I need that color. So I picked up this color, and I just really like purple. Mm -hmm. And it's like Easter egg color, so. And I also like Essie's um, Playdate. That's also like a similar shade to this one. Mm -hmm. um, my first favorite is the uh, Maybelline Fit Me matte and poreless foundation um this is the shade 115 and i really like this foundation because i think it's a good fit for my skin tone mm, fit. Oh, it fits me <laughs> it fits her i'm like most of my clothes um <laughs> i think it's a good match for my skin tone um and i don't know it's it's similar to i think revlon color stay but it's a lot thinner oh, which i really like good. because i think color stay is really thick the only downside is I don't think it lasts all day. Um, like even like now it's like mid afternoon and I feel like you can see through it kind of. Like, does it look <laughs> splotchy? No. Oh, uh, well, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I feel like it doesn't have a ton of lasting power. I'm thinking of picking up the powder to go with it and maybe that'll help. Oh. But um, other than that, I really like it. Um, I just don't like how it doesn't have a thingy either mm -hmm. because yeah I feel like you waste so much when you Pouring. just pour it out but free pour yeah free pour is no good <laughs> but I, I do I really like it I like the consistency and yeah I'm I'm happy with it my next favorite is an oldie but a goodie and this is an old ass benefits birthday suit and it's like one of their is it creaseless shadow or creamless uh, creaseless creaseless yeah it has creaseless cream, cream shadow and it's kind of like a paint pot. I've been loving like MAC paint pots that are shimmery. Um, but I tried to switch it up this month. And mine's a little dried out, but it's still working. Still trucking along. And it's like a taupey um, shade that's... It's got like a little bit of a shimmer, but not a lot. And I like it because I've been just doing like a one shadow look. So I just put on primer, put on some of this, and that's all I do for my eyes. Dang, your phone's blowing up. Um, so yeah, it's just something that I've rediscovered in my collection, and I've been liking it. I like that one too. Mm -hmm. Um, sticking with the eyeshadow theme, I, my next one is the Lorac Gold palette, and I am so obsessed with this palette. I was on like a major no-buy for hella long, and then I saw this palette in somebody's video, and I was like, oh, um, oh my god, I can't think of her name. Lolly Dolly 128? No. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is that a person? Okay. Um, I saw her swatches and everything and I just fell in love with it and I had to have it and I told Gigi like it's worth like Gold. it's worth yeah it is. <laughs> I was like I gotta break the no buy I'm gonna go get it because I just know that this is one that I'll use all the time and I would say like probably 29 out of 31 days of March I wore this palette. I think mm. a couple days I kind of went back to like my Urban Decay just to mix it up but um, well, it's a hot mess, but this kind of gives you an idea, but it's just a really pretty palette and my favorite shade is like everybody's favorite shade, which is this one right here. In the middle? Yeah. I mean, it looks like a cream eyeshadow when you put it on. It's so gorgeous. And I just, I just love the whole palette. It is so worth the money. And for me, I think the shades fit me better than the original unzipped palette because the un original one is more of like a rose gold kind of tone and this is more just like true gold. So I just love this palette and I honestly can't say enough good things about it. Good. Justifies the purchase. Mm -hmm. Okay, my next thing is like a category, I guess. It's just the jumbo lip crayons. 
Um, normally I'm just a lip gloss kind of girl. I don't really wear a lot of lipsticks. But I've been really loving some jumbo crayons. Um, this one's a favorite that we both talked about. Pitt mm -hmm. started me on this. It's um, Honey by Rev1. You can't tell because I've used it so much. I mm -hmm. like rubbed off all the color, but this is a good matte color. It's like mm -hmm. darker than my natural lip color. And this is a good one. I also like Pouty from Tarte. And this one's got some shimmer to it. And it's a good like rosy color. And then this one is CoverGirl. See, I don't judge. I just use everybody. Mm -hmm. um, this one's a CoverGirl one. It's like a little bit of a brighter pink. That's and pretty. yeah, what is it called? 215. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but yeah. it's their Lip Perfection Jumbo Gloss in 215. Maybe there's no number or name. That's boring. This, yeah, just 215. So this is what I was wearing today. Did I put some on? I don't even know. I feel like it's not that there. I feel like I didn't. Now put, we're in business. I feel like I didn't put anything on. Okay. Yeah. And I just like them because they're moisturizing and they're not drying. <laughs> <laughs> it's not um, the opposite. And they're easy. Like normally I don't put them on with like a mirror. I guess I should because sometimes they're all over my teeth. <laughs> but it's just easy and like you know not as harsh as a lipstick. I like those too. Um, my last favorite is hecka old news. It's the Batiste dry shampoo and I feel like I'm the last person on the planet to discover, well not discover it, but to try it. I've always known about it, um, but I've just, I don't know, like always had different ones. I don't know. But I was at TJ Maxx and I saw it and I really just felt like trying it. I've been trying new things with my, well not new things, but my hair has been falling out lately. So I've been trying to not um, go to work with it wet. I've been trying to let it air dry and then mm. it's like taking shower. Okay, this is way too long of an explanation. Basically, I've been taking showers at night lately. And so in the morning, I've been using a dry shampoo and everyone loves this. So I thought I would try it mm -hmm. and I really like it. I think um, I like this fragrance. I like how when you spray it in, like throughout the day, you can smell it. Like you get like a little burst of like fragrance. And um, what one's that one? Tropical. It just smells like coconut. Oh. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with it. I, I think if you have darker hair, you have to be careful because I think it can leave a white cast in your hair. For me, sometimes it looks a little bit like grayish sometimes if I don't really like brush it out. But um, I think it really helps absorb the oil and it definitely gives volume without being too, without feeling like there's something, you know, like gunk in your hair, which I think some of them, trust me, do that. Um, so yeah. We have visitors. Not really. Somebody. Um, but yeah, so I really like the Batiste, and I um, I want to try like all the different ones. But yeah. I am only gonna buy it at TJ Maxx. I like so. Batiste. Well, I think that price it was really six bucks. I think it's normally that at Ulta, or I buy it when it's. Well, like, then TJ Maxx lies because yeah. they say it's eight dollars. I don't know where they be buying this stuff from. You can buy one fifty percent off at Ulta, and that's normally mm -hmm. when I stock up on them. I like the leopard one, and I like the rosy pink one. I have the cherry one, but I don't think it smells like yeah, cherry. I, yeah, I don't think I've tried cherry. And I, I've tried the brunette one because, you know, yeah, you don't have the white cast. Yeah. But I like to spray mine it and then I do my makeup so then it kind of sits in there. Oh. And then I like pretend like See, I'm See, maybe I go too fast because, yeah, I just yeah. spray mine and then like go. No, like, I, I don't let mine it sink sit in. for a little and then... But sometimes, I have gone to work once, and I've gone to the bathroom like two hours after I got there, and I've looked, and I'm like, oh my god, nobody yeah. told me I look like a grandma. Yeah, it's embarrassing. Yeah. Yeah, I've had moments like that, too. Mm -hmm. So. But whatever. Whatever. I like it. I'm down. Mm -hmm. So. That grandma look is in, too. Yeah. I mean, I already have a grandma day. life, so I might as well look like a mm -hmm. granny, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Work that part. Mm-hmm. Can you hear our friends? Okay, do so. <laughs> so. So polite. <laughs> obviously, well, they don't know that we're filming. Yeah. Quite well, obviously. Upset. Hello. We have a sign up. Mm hmm. Ooh. A digit. Yes. <laughs> okay, well, those were our favorite products for the month of March. Leave us a comment and let us know what you've been loving this month. And maybe we'll check it out. Who knows? Maybe we won't. Yeah. Mm hmm. Well, thanks for watching, and we'll see you <laughs> in the next video. Bye! Bye. Hashtag blush game on point.
week. How do you F L E E K? I guess. I don't know what the cool thing is. I don't know what a fleek is. What's a I don't fleek? I don't a fleek. <laughs> <laughs> no fleeks to give. Flamingo fleek. 